Hello, welcome to Take 10 on Tuesdays with the Tennessee Tribune. I'm Sandra Long Weaver. I'm the editorial director for the Tribune. And today our guests are returning and they're going to tell us a little bit of a story about Athletes Can. And so I have with me Ivan Hickman who, and Jeremy Perry, who is the founder of the organization. So last year we had a conversation uh, about Athletes Can Think Too. And now you've changed the name to Athletes Can. So let's start with that and tell me why did you change the name? Well, we um, we f found out that we were doing a lot more than really impacting kids in the classroom and what they did academically. And so we decided at the end of last year we wanted to rebrand to, to touch a lot more bases with um, our actual mission and what we were doing with student athletes. Um, we found student athletes that were starting their own businesses, um, being leaders in different organizations. And so we wanted to kind of open up our name a little bit more to just say Athletes Can. And, you know, whatever comes behind that, okay. you know, we feel like we can do it. So Athletes Can. That's right. All right. I like it. Uh, so now let's, and I'll back up a little bit further than that. So let's talk about what is the organization. You talk about, you're working with student athletes. Are mm -hmm. these student athletes at the college level, high school level? elementary school level and so we got our start with working with high school student athletes okay. um, and our mission is to impact them empower them to reach their full potential um, not only in athletic but professional endeavors as well um, and the way that we do that is we basically give them leadership skills um, and we try to take them all the way and so we we realize that that most kids can set their eyes on goals just like most people can mm -hmm. but the hardest part is really getting to un getting them to understand the steps in between and so what we want to do as an organization is to help the kids with the in-between. Okay. And so what school are you involved with? You're working. And how are the students selected? Or do they volunteer? How are they coming? And is, is it just in? I know I've asked you three questions now. But <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to find out a little bit more so our audience knows more about the organization. Are you just in Nashville and Middle Tennessee? How far are you going? Well, uh, a lot of events that, that we already held, it's been um, just different areas in the Middle Tennessee area. Now, as far as the scope and um, the, the different student athletes that we are reaching, we're reaching student athletes across the United States. Oh, you're um, going, okay. We do, so it's so beyond Nashville. It is beyond now. Nashville, and uh, uh, hopefully in the future we can extend our programs to outside the state of Tennessee, but right now our programs are, are really housed in the, the Middle Tennessee area, the Nashville area, um, so that's just um, kind of our, our target right now. Okay, and how many students are you reaching? Are the, and both boys and girls? Both boys and girls, okay, yeah. So um, with our organization, a lot of people see me, Ivan, uh, our president, Thomas Porter, and they see men. Mm -hmm. um, but we also have an event, our Girl Talk event, which is, you know, female student athletes. Um, we also recognize female student athletes as our athlete of the month. Oh, really? um, so we're, again, trying to touch all bases. We don't want to think people uh, or people to think that we're limited to just guys or just high school um, because, again, you know, I'm able to work with student athletes that are on the college level looking forward to go into the professional world. Um, and then with our bike event that we're getting ready to come up on, that's dealing with elementary kids. Um, and so we're kind of, we're, we're all over, the, yeah, okay. covering the spectrum. Tell me a little bit about the bike event. Uh, last year when I first talked with uh, you all, that's the event that mm -hmm. you were pulling together, I think, for the first time. Mm -hmm. So this is the second annual bike event. When is it taking place and what is the goal of it? Sure. Well, uh, it's going to be taking place on December the 17th, and then we're going to have it at Dotson Elementary in Hermitage, Tennessee. Okay. So last year we had it at Belshire um, Elementary, and basically our purpose of the event is um, uh, we're making an impact in many ways. Uh, one way is we want to raise the awareness of bike safety. Uh, too many of our youth are getting injured and, and, and really getting um, uh killed on bicycles mm -hmm. it's because of lack of knowledge um and on a personal note we we had a friend a brother um that lost his life on a bicycle oh really and so out of um sorry to hear that it, it's it, it's okay because um the person that he was his legacy uh his legacy is still living on uh trey rich uh, and so you know it's so important for the kids to know that a helmet has to be worn mm -hmm. bright clothes you know the signs when they're on the bicycle so we want to uh, raise the awareness so these kids can know mm -hmm. um, you know your 
the the requirements to, to protect yourself on a bicycle where to ride and not only that uh, we are actually want to bridge the gap with our police officers in our community mm -hmm. um, because it's a, a crazy time with police uh, police brutality mm -hmm. and um, and so a part of the, the, the healing process is getting them connected in the, the community mm -hmm. um, for them to build relationships. And so last year we had Metro Police officers come out and um, uh, talk with the, uh, the parents and just building relationships. And so we're going to build on that. Um, and then these yeah. kids are going to get a bike at the end of the day. <laughs> oh, so right. they get a bike as well and a helmet as well? Right. So, so to piggyback off what he's saying, we um we actually went to Dotson Elementary and we had a pep rally for the kids where we taught them bicycle safety. Mm -hmm. Um, went through a PowerPoint, really got the kids pumped up about receiving a bicycle. Wow. Um, and the way they do that is they write an essay on bicycle safety. Oh, and so I see. we give them a prompt to t uh, basically tell a new friend on you know these are the rules of the road mm -hmm. and so we go through as a staff and we pick out the best ones the best essays the best pictures uh, we come together and then you know we partner with um, academy and we get some bikes and then those kids have the opportunity to come and get it all right so are the bikes donated are you raising more funds to yeah. purchase bikes how, how many bikes are you looking to give to the children? So last year we were able to give away 43 bikes. Wow. Um, this year Sweet. obviously we want to get better, we want to top that and so right. at least 50 bikes is our goal to right. give away this year. Um, we're really soliciting donations from the Nashville community, um, both bicycles and monetary donations. Mm -hmm. um, Academy Sports has been really helpful uh, in the process of really being on board with us, giving us great discounts on bikes. And so we're just asking um, people to be on board. Um, you can go on our website, athletescan.org backslash donate. Um, they can give online there. And um, if you want to email a, a check or your money order, <laughs> yeah, it's, whatever. It's, it's, it's different <laughs> options. And, right. and we're so thankful to this, uh, you guys and the Tennessee Tribune for allowing us to use your platform. Right. Um, but we want everyone who is watching this video to share the video. If you can't donate it, you can go to our website if you could donate a dollar. It's not about Athletes Can, it's not about myself or Jeremy, but it's really about our, our youth, our future. So th that's our mission and we want to um, take that on the horns. Okay. Sure. And so let me, um, if what you're doing for the, the children is wonderful, but I also admire the friendship between two young black men. So mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about how you met mm -hmm. in college and, and what and now how it led to this point where you're working together to help children. I probably have the, the most unique side of the story. Okay. <laughs> um, I met Ivan as a freshman um, at MTSU and I was playing football mm -hmm. um, and it was summer and I didn't quite know the campus that good. And so he pulled up in a truck uh, with a bed on it okay. and basically was like, hey, little freshman, <laughs> do you want to hop in? <laughs> and so... Um, I did hop in, I got a ride, and from that point, you know, as a young man, you want to look up to people that are doing it the right way, right. and so he was a junior, um, a little more seasoned than I was, and he was just somebody good to look up to, um, and then a few years down the road, you know, we kind of stayed in connection, um, and just encouraging each other, whether it's, you know, talking about God on the phone, or impacting our community, um, our family situation. I'm recently married, and well, you know, he's, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and so he's a good guy to look up yeah. to, and you know, it's just been great. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, and Ivan. What so, uh, <laughs> um, my end is uh, it, it kind of goes along with Jeremy said. Uh, we met at MTSU, of course. Uh, from from my end, the, the connection kind of started. Uh, he came in as a certain position, uh, as a quarterback position, and I was playing linebacker okay. at MTSU. And um, you know, he's uh, you know um, one of the top prospects. He he, he might have been maybe fourth or third stream. And um, my linebacker coach kind of grabbed me by by my neck, and he was like, "Hey, Ivan." What you think about that kid? <laughs> and uh, you know, fast forward uh, now they moved him to linebacker, uh, uh, which probably led him to transfer to TSU, right? Mm -hmm. But um, but that's kind of how it connected because we we spend a lot of time together playing the, uh, the same position and, and hanging out uh, outside of the field and you know from us growing and in, um, in our personal lives and our careers stay connected and, and our job is really to push each other so that we can reach our full potential and, and grab success. Okay. All right, and through that you also saw the need to connect with uh, young athletes right. as they get ready to move into high school and into college. Yes, yes, the need is there, um, and like we mentioned before, it is, it's so important for us to get them at an early age. Yes. Um, you know, a, a lot of times you might get to an age and um, uh, it's, it's more you have to do because um, how um, their age that they're at, but the earlier the better, and so that's, that's what we want to do. 
Okay. And could you give us your website again if you want to donate or if you want to attend the event? Give us the information once more. Sure can. So their website is athletescan.org um, and you can go backslash donate or you can just visit our website. You can go to the upcoming events and click on Christmas on Wheels. You can donate. The directions are there. Um, we do accept money orders. We accept checks. Um, we also would like love for you to do, uh, join our monthly giving. Uh, we have many options uh, for you to support us and kind of see us throughout the year. Um, we love our supporters. Uh, we reach out to you throughout the year via newsletter to kind of keep you updated on what we're doing. And so we look forward to this year's Christmas on Wheels Bike Explosion. All right. And also, if uh, if you're watching this video and, and you cannot um, give financially, but you know someone who is uh, willing and able to support our mission, support um, what we want to do in the community, then I encourage you to share this video. I encourage you to win today. Uh, and that's one thing that we go by. I'm wearing a t-shirt that, that we have. It's win today. Hashtag um, win today. Yes, ma'am. Right. We're not focused on yesterday. Right. Uh, we're not focused on tomorrow. Right now, we're focused on this interview. And we're <laughs> focused on getting people to understand and, and know what we want to do and we want to accomplish and for them to get on board. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you both. Ivan Hickman and Jeremy Perry. Thank you for uh, having me. Uh, yes. Athletes Can. We look forward to you all continuing to do great things. And thank you for joining us and listening to our video. And as Ivan said, please share it with your friends and colleagues. See you the next time.